Welcome to an introduction to conic sections. This is the first of several videos that will review the conic sections. Let's first start off by talking about some vocabulary. If we start with a double cone as we see here in green, the fixed line is called the axis of the cone and that would be this line here. Next, the vertex is the point shared by both cones and that point would be right here. Next, the lines that pass through the vertex and form the cones are called the generators. So the generators lie in the cone and there would be an infinite number of them that form the two cones. And then lastly, the cone consists of two parts called the napes. So the way we create the conic sections is to take a plane and intersect this double cone. And based upon how the double cone is sliced or intersected, it affects what conic section is formed. Let's take a look at the four non-degenerate conic sections. The first is the circle, as we see here in red. The next is the ellipse, which looks more like a flattened circle. In blue we have the parabola, which you should already be familiar with. And then lastly we have the hyperbola. And this shape is different than the parabola. Let's take a look at how these four conics are formed. The circle, as we see here, is generated when the plane is perpendicular to the axis of the cone. Remember, the axis would be this fixed line, as we see here. So if the plane is perpendicular to this line, we have a circle. The ellipse, as we see here above the circle, is generated when the plane is tilted so it intersects each generator but only intersects one of the napes. On the left we see the parabola and this is generated when the plane is tilted so it is parallel to one generator and only intersects one of the napes. We could also say that it's parallel to one side of the cone. And then lastly on the right, a hyperbola is generated when the plane intersects both napes. Let's take a look at this another way. Here we have a double cone and this light blue plane intersecting the cone. If you can imagine the axis passing through these two cones, this plane is perpendicular to that line. If we take a look at the conic section that's generated, you can see that it's a circle. Now, as we change the angle of inclination of that plane, it's no longer perpendicular to the axis, but it's still intersecting just one nape. And this conic section would be the ellipse, as we see here. If we change the angle of inclination, as long as it only intersects one nape, it is still an ellipse. Now if we change the angle of incline so that it's parallel to one of the generators, as we see here, the conic section would be a parabola. And the hyperbola is generated when the plane intersects both napes. So this would be the hyperbola and we can see the shape And there you can see the shape of a hyperbola. Okay, so that pretty much does it for this first video on the introduction to conics. We've described the four non-degenerate conic sections, and we've also seen how they can be generated using a plane and a double cone. The next series of videos will take a look at each conic section individually, and we'll also graph them in standard and general form.
So thank you for watching.